If you like the video, please consider supporting us on Patreon. All right, let's get the first position. Okay, nice and easy on this move. Okay, and the f was that? Do it again. Nice and easy. Are you f***ing kidding me? Welcome to Pull My Focus, Adventures in the World of Digital Filmmaking, where we give you the inside tips you need to make great video. And that list also includes the slider. It allows us to do camera moves without all that dolly track and that big heavy dolly. Back in the day when I was a dolly grip, I leveled a lot of track and I did tons of camera moves. And one thing that's very clear to me is that though a heavy dolly on track carrying an AC and a DP is a very different animal than a lightweight slider on a tripod, there are certain fundamental practices that are common to using both. Let's talk about them. Most moves have a start and stop point, and some even have pause points in between if your actor stops and starts again. When I dolly grip, I make marks on the floor with tape. For a slider, you could use marks, but if you're doing the move yourself, marks may not be possible because you're focusing on the shot. Here's one trick camera operators use. To keep this simple, we'll use a shot with the tilt and pan locked off. If you're doing a camera move from left to right, check what's on the left edge of your starting frame. That's your first position. For your end shot, check what's on the right edge of your end frame. That's your final position marker. Now some operators use the left edge, the trailing edge, for their end frame mark as well because they can see what's coming up. If you use a right edge marker, you'll need to pay attention to some mark on the right edge before your final mark. It lets you know your end frame is coming up. The reason? Something we call feathering. Whether on a dolly or a slider, you don't want to abruptly start or stop a shot, but ease into them by ramping up to speed and then ramping down. It's especially important on the end shot as slowing down to a complete stop on the correct mark without unwanted camera movement can be tricky. If you have someone to help you with the move, especially if you're panning and tilting your shot, they could use marks. What I do is I hang a pointer from the slider and then mark the in and out points on the base. Note that it's important to mark them from where you will physically be standing, otherwise your viewpoint will give you an incorrect position. When pushing a dolly, I have plenty of resistance to create tension because of the weight of the dolly and the whole package camera operating AC. But with a DSLR or other lightweight camera like the C100 on a slider, you can almost push it too fast. With a slider, we have to create it ourselves. One knob is to lock, the other is to adjust the tension. Dollies are heavy, and depending on the conditions of where you're shooting, you may need to lube the track and the dolly wheels. So what do we use? Good old furniture polish. Well, now Pledge does even more. Whether it's Endust Pledge or this guy. So you can use the same thing on a slider, but don't spray directly on it, but onto a rag away from the camera and make sure the lens is covered. Then wipe it on the track and wheels. Some of you might be wondering about what about motors? Yeah, motors are great, but here's the thing. If you're tracking actors, well, they're not robots. They're not gonna repeat the same movement exactly every time. Their performances might be very dynamic and they may start, pause, stop at different times and in different places. Check your bubble level regularly. Just uh, by moving the camera a little bit, can put it out of level depending on the floor, especially in older buildings. I move the whole camera slider rig, I always double check my balance and rebalance if I need to. Also, on some tripods, particularly if you're on a single tripod versus a dual on either end of the slider, you may have issues with some legs giving under the weight. I had a shot go slowly crooked on me because the camera was uh, for a period of time offset on the slider for the end of a move. And it laid there and that extra weight offset 
slowly slid the lock on one of the tripod legs. And so I had to take an Allen wrench, lock it, and re-level it. So always double check your balance, even in between shots when using a slider. Sandbag your tripod. You are sliding the weight of that camera horizontally um, against the way a tripod, a single tripod, is meant to be used. Even if you're using double tripods, go ahead and weight those sandbags on uh, for the same reason. Now, I'm not dissing dollies. Hello, dolly. I love them when the time and money and uh, manpower is there, right, to do it. Uh, they're great and fantastic, and you can do some wonderful, uh, crazy long shots. Another thing we used to do with certain dollies is not use track at all, but we would lay plywood, double plywood with masonite on top. We would offset the seams, paper tape, all this stuff. We call that a dance floor. And we would move like a panther dolly and those types. We would move them around and we could do intricate, uh, fun little moves through talent, uh, particularly on a big stage, it would be fun, but we would do that a lot of times inside um, a house, uh, a room, apartment. But what's exciting is that the ability to have a fluid camera move, nice and smooth, is available to us now because of sliders. Like the barrier of entry uh, to be able to make films and videos has lowered and so much more creativity can come out, which to me is super exciting. Because the other thing about dollies is even if you can, uh, afford them and all that, and that's great if you can. It also means time, because you've got to move all kinds of stuff out of the way, not only to get the, the dolly and the track in here, but to have room for it to move. So that slider move we did, we were playing around with earlier, we were showing you, uh, to do that in here with a dolly, man, you need room on either side, right? So dollies are awesome, and sliders are fantastic. So I hope that's helpful. There are quite a few other tips and distinct things and there's some other great videos on that, particularly special types of shots and stuff with the slider. But what I wanted to go over was bringing the world's dolly grip to the slider uh, for you guys um, so that when you actually use it, you can actually get that exciting shot you wanna do and not get stuck into the technicalities. Thanks for watching. Check out pullmyfocus.tv for the companion articles that go along with our articles. And if you find what we're doing helpful and informative, consider uh, supporting us on Patreon. With a small monthly pledge, you're investing in our ability to continue bringing you more insight tips to making great video. So thank you. What the hell was that? Back to one. Nice and easy. But again, Good. nice and kidding me. Back to one. Again, nice and easy. Okay, back to one. Friggin' kidding me.